Hello friends, in this video I will give 10 useful tips to identify the gender of discus fish. Now people like breeding discus fish or that they buy a proven pair which breeds with no problem or they buy a bunch of discus that is 6 to 8 discus and then identify their gender and isolate them or isolate the naturally formed pair in them. Breeding discus is very rewarding if all the fries mature to a healthy adult because each pair sells for $100 or more in the ornamental fish market. So if you are having difficulty in getting a natural pair, then these 10 tips might help you to form a discus fish pair and then you can isolate them for breeding. Number 10 Pairing As I said earlier, when you keep 6 to 8 discus in a large aquarium, you could see that after a while, two discus tends to move together and isolate themselves to a separate region of aquarium. Seeing this behavior, you could suggest that they are natural pairs. But this is not proven way to identify the pair as sometimes a pair of females or males tend to move together in a friendly manner. So you should use other tips that I will mention later in this video to identify the gender of discus fish and then form a pair. Number 9 Color Patterns Moving on the second tip to identify the gender and form a pair is by looking at the color patterns. If you have same strain of discus like blue diamond or pigeon red etc. Then the discus fish with darker color or more color pattern is the male and the lighter colored with less pattern is the female. Try keeping them in breeding tank and check if it works. Number 8 Eye Color If you look closely at the discus fish of same strain, then you will find that male iris or outer eye ring is darker and more colored while the female's outer eye ring is comparatively less colored and lighter. You can use this identification along with other identification tips to confirm the male and female discus fish. Number 7 Body Size In adult discus, the males are comparatively bigger and bit more muscular than female. On the other side, female will have smaller body size. You can also notice that the forehead is little bulged out in male than in female. So male discus is usually more muscular and bigger than female. This method is not proven way to identify the gender as male can also attain short growth while maturing. Use this tip with other ways to confirm the gender. Number 6 Behavior In discus pair, the male is more aggressive and territorial than female. The female is little timid and shy compared to male. You can notice sometimes that when you put your hand in the aquarium, discus come towards it. They are often males, while female in this situation tends to hide. In brief, males are more aggressive than female. Now again, females can become aggressive sometimes, so you have to combine this and more identification method to confirm the gender. Number 5 Lip Sizes Talking about discus fish lip sizes, the males have larger bulged out lips than female. This is mainly to lip block and fight with other males for establishing its territory. So in a pair, the males will have thicker lip sizes than females who has smaller lip sizes. Number 4 Dorsal Fins In adult discuss, if you notice their dorsal fins, then you can see sometime that dorsal fins have pointed tip and in some other discuss they have rounded tip. So it is said that males usually have the pointed shape in the dorsal fins and females have rounded in the same place of the dorsal fins. This method can confirm you a pair but still you have to combine other methods for solid confirmation.
Number 3 Fins Arrangement In this method of arrangement, we just look at the arrangement of fins and the length of the tail. If we draw a line from the dorsal and ventral fins, like shown here, it will either just touch the tail's outer ending or it will just cut through the tail. The case where it just touch the tail's outer ending is supposed to be male's fins arrangement and where the line crosses through the tails is the female's fins arrangement. I use this method on the discuss I have but yet I could not confirm the gender. So this method also had to be used with other methods to confirm the gender. Number 2 Breeding Tube When you look at the breeding tube that is situated at the bottom above the ventral fins, each male and female differ in size of their breeding tube. In adult discuss, breeding tubes are clearly visible. Female breeding tube is wider than male's breeding tube. Use this tip along with few other tips mentioned to confirm whether the discuss fish pair are male or female. And at number 1 is egg laying. So as we move to number 1 in the list, it is more confirmed method to identify the gender. A discuss fish which lays egg is obviously and totally confirmed to be a female. So if you see a discuss fish laying eggs, then it is confirmed to be a female, while male in this case just hover over the laid eggs to fertilize them. And you can isolate this to discuss fish that does this kind of egg laying behavior with total confirmation and use them for breeding purpose. If you are still watching, I will suggest a bonus and useful tip and that is, it's true you can identify male and female discuss using above method. But when discuss form pair naturally, it is most useful pair for breeding. Identifying the gender and putting male and female discuss is not the proven method for breeding as the pair may or may not breed. Like all other breeders, I would also suggest that Keep 8 to 10 young discus fish in large aquarium and let them form pair themselves as they grow to adult. This pair guaranteed to lay eggs and bring up the fries. If you still want to follow this method anyway, identify male and female discus and put them in breeding time. Chances they breed is purely a matter of luck. So that's it. And now you can also make discuss fish pair and select them for breeding or even cross breeding using this combination of methods mentioned in the list. I hope you found this video informative and useful. Give this video a like and share it with your friends or discuss fish lovers. Subscribe this channel if you are new and until next video bye and take care and thanks for watching.